Hello YouTube, this is Richard. I'm here today to show you how to grade the footage from DJI Mavic in DaVinci Resolve 14. Let's take a look at the footage full screen. In this first part, I will be grading this sunset footage using a lot that comes free with DaVinci Resolve. If you look at the scopes, uh, you can see the picture is very flat, which we can expect from D-Log footage, and it's also very desaturated. So let's take the first node, right click, go to 3D LUT and apply a film LUT to it. You can pick anything you want. I pick this uh, Kodak LUT. And boom, here we have the result. For some of you this may be okay, for some of you it's probably not what you expect. So for me the footage looks a little bit crunchy now for the sunset feel. I'm gonna make some changes. To keep things organized, I'm going to rename this node to LUT. And all the changes I'm going to be making to the tone, color, saturation of this image are going to happen before this node. So I'm going to create a serial node, place it before the node called LUT and name it Contrast. I keep my scopes open so I can always check what I'm doing. It's the best way to judge the final image. I am going to the Curve tab and I'm gonna decrease the highlights. Then I'm going to leave the shadows a little bit. Image looks considerably flatter, which is okay for the sunset look I'm after, but I'm still going to introduce a little bit of S-curve to bring back at least some of that contrast. Turn the node on and off to see before and after. And I think after this node, the image feeding to the LUT is a little bit better. In the next step, I'm going to darken the sky a little bit. At the moment, I think it's a little bit bright. So I'm going to create a serial node, rename it sky. And I'm going to go to primary wheels and darken it a little bit. Obviously, I'm affecting the whole image, which is not what I want. So I'm going to use gradient power window. This way I limit the darkening only to the portion of the sky I want to darken. I keep turning the node on and off to see the result before and after. I want to be sure that my grading is not too strong and it's very subtle. The next thing I want to address is the area around the sun. I create a parallel node. I'm going to blur the area and I try to recreate kind of faded, sunsetty, flary look. I'm gonna name the node Glow. Then go to the Blur tab and increase the blur all the way. I am limiting the blur only to area around the sun by creating a power window. Obviously this one looks still a little bit creepy, so I'm going to adjust the key output. I type in 0.5, but I think it's still too strong, so I go to 0.4. And if I preview the footage on a full screen, it looks alright to me. With this one done, I'm going to create another parallel node and I will introduce flare that is coming out from the setting sun. I named the node flare and this time I use the effect that comes free with DaVinci Resolve. I open the effects tab, scroll down and use a filter called light rays. Drop it onto the node and at the moment I see crazy effect but I'm going to adjust the parameters so I get the look that I'm after. In the parameters, I select the source region as the selected output and I'm adjusting the threshold and determining the area where the light rays will come from. Obviously I'm selecting uh, all the bright areas in the image, but I'm going to limit the final result. So I don't worry about the blue colors, I'm only focusing at the area around the sun. Now that I'm happy, I switch the selected output to light rays alone and I can dial in the look for the rays. I adjust the length and source of the light ray to get the desired result. The look I am after is the light rays falling on top of the city. Once I'm happy with the ray direction, I switch back the output to full or final image and I dial in the blend. Obviously the effect is too strong by default, so I need to decrease the opacity and the blend parameter is just right for that. I am adding a little bit of warm color to the light rays as well to warm it up just a little bit more. Now I'm creating a power window to limit the areas of the light rays just around the sun. I increase the softness, I reshape it and I rotate it a little bit to the direction of the light rays. Since I'm grading on the laptop, it's not the most powerful machine on the world, so I'm turning off the flare node. This filter is a little bit too heavy to play it back real time. 
Now if I look at the image full screen everything looks pretty good, however I think the image is overly sharp. As I mentioned before I set the picture setting in Mavic to sharpness plus one. The reason why I'm using this setting is that it keeps the details in the foliage. If the sharpness would be set to zero or anything below the zero, the noise reduction would kick in and it would smudge all the details from the footage, which I don't want. So I prefer to keep the sharpness at plus one. But since the sharpness is too much now, there is a simple thing I can do. I'm going to create a serial node and I'm going to blur it. I go to blur tab and change the setting from 0.5 to 0.53. This is not too much and I think it works for 4K footage. Viewing full screen it still looks sharp, however that crazy sharpness is gone. Great, I create the next serial node and I call it saturation. All I'm gonna do in this node is go to the Luma versus saturation and I'm going to desaturate the darks. At the moment most of the grade is done. Let's have a look before and after where we came from and where we are now. I can turn off all the grades by hitting Shift D. Next thing I want to do is introduce a little bit of vignette. I'm creating a power window. I soften it, change the shape and I make sure I invert it so I'm affecting the corners not the middle of the image. There is many ways how to darken it but at the moment I'm gonna use a gamma in the primary wheels and darken it just a little. I want to make sure it's not overpowering. By turning the note on and off I can see the effect. The very last thing I need to do is add a little bit of grain to the footage. DaVinci Resolve Lite doesn't have any grain functionality built in. So what I'm gonna do is use a footage that I downloaded from internet. It's basically a scanned grain in 4K. So I create a serial note and call it grain. Now we have to go back to media tab and I'm going to show you how to bring the grain footage. For the method I'm going to be showing it's not as simple as dragging and dropping footage into the media pool. I need to select the footage, right click and choose add to media pool as a map. Now we see the grain footage in the media pool and there is a small icon in bottom left corner indicating that it is in fact a map. Now I go back to the color page right click on a grain node, go all the way down and select add mat, timeline mats and there is my mat footage. However we are still not done. I need to disconnect the mat footage from my node and then I create a layer mixer node. I click anywhere in the gray area and select layer mixer. Then I'm going to connect it after the grain node. Next step is to take the output of the mat and connect it to the layer mixer. As you can see our image disappeared and we can see only the grain footage so I need to go to composite mode in layer mixer and change it to overlay or soft light. Grain is now applied to the image however my timeline is 1080p and the grain footage is 4k so I need to scale the grain. I select the top right corner of the footage so I can demonstrate what I'm talking about. You can see at 300% there is no grain visible. I go to key output, I make sure the lock mat is turned off and I change the zoom to 2. Now the size of the grain should match the size of the timeline. To demonstrate that it actually works I'm going to punch in a crazy number into the zooms so you can see the grain applied to the footage. I set the zoom back to 2. I turn back the flare to see how it looks. I still think it's a little bit too strong so I'm going back to effect properties and I dial it back. And this is it folks, a nice teal and orange sunset look. Hope you liked the tutorial. In the next one I'm going to be creating a similar footage without using a lot and I'm going to be creating my look from the scratch in DaVinci Resolve. So hope you tune back in.